Thank you to the Speaker of the House. Good afternoon to the Honorable Agent Kettus, members of the negative team, and the member of the club. I am Nur Haziza, the first speaker of the affirmative team. The motion for our debate is that Tibet is a better road to take over the university road. Technical vocational education and training Tibet includes formal, non-formal, and informal learning that prepare young people with the knowledge and skills required in the world of work. According to the United Nations Organization for Education, Science and Culture, UNESCO, Tibet has been called many names over the years such as vocational education, technical education, technical vocational education, occupational education, professional and vocational education and others. This is a good starting point for our definition. The common future of Tibet as defined by UNESCO is that it involves in addition to general education, the study of technologies and related science as well as the acquisition of practical skills, attitudes, understanding and knowledge relating to occupations in various sectors of economics and social life. In Tibet, young people have the opportunity to learn from basic to advanced levels across a wide range of international and work settings. The junior Tibet programs in Malaysia are offered at certificate, diploma and degree levels by seven ministries that include the Ministry of Higher Education, MOHE, which offers the most Tibet programs to the highest number of students. So, today's motion is clear. I, as the leader of the affirmative team, will show you why Tibet is the better road to take over the university road. Continuing studies in the field of Tibet is better than continuing studies in local university in Malaysia. This is because the registration fee charged by institutes such as IKBN is very affordable and students don't have to pay fees every month. Not only that, each student will be given an allowance during the entire period of their studies at the institute. The allowance can further reduce the cost of learning for students. The amount of allowance given to students varies according to the program they take. Besides that, the Tibet Institute provides hostel to students as accommodation. Therefore, students do not have to worry about their financial affairs during the period of study as they do not have to spend money to pay for accommodation. Compared to most universities in Malaysia, not all students get accommodation from the university this proves that Tibet is a better road to take compared to the university road. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the New Straits Times articles, over 90% of the Tibet program graduates are easily marketable market for jobs. Providing this assurance, the Malaysian Qualification Agency, MQA, is now going into overdrive by actively working with foreign accreditation bodies from countries such as Germany, to ensure exceptionally high quality event education. MQA Chief Executive Officer, Prof. Dr. Muhammad Shatar Sabran said that such an empowerment agenda has become one of the initiatives aggressively carried out by the agency. Event qualification equips you with specific skills that you need at the workplace. You will have hands on practical experience that will prepare you for the challenge and opportunities you may face at work. This will also help build your confidence. You will be job ready when you are qualified in the sector you have been trained in. Tibet is an important tool for government to decrease unemployment, to provide workforce to private sector, and to attract foreign direct investment. Hence, there are many fields of students such as policy, funding, frameworks, system reform, gender, Tibet for sustainable development, and others. Quality Tibet is widely recognized as having an important role to play in tackling young unemployment. Tibet's orientation towards the world of work and acquisition of employability skills mean that it is well placed to address issues such as skill mismatch that have impeded smooth school to work transition for many young people. Therefore, I leave you with the thought Tibet is a better road to take compared to the university road because the employability of Tibet graduate is higher and because the training expense is affordable.